Hey everyone, welcome back to my playthrough of Final Fantasy 1. Uh, last time we grabbed the airship uh, using the Love of Stone we got from the Ice Cavern. Uh, took a little trip back to Melmon to make sure we had uh, the spells that we had missed. Now we go back to the airship, um, and today we're going to uh, head over to the uh, Tower of Tr Castle of Ordeals, that's what it's called basically where we get the uh, rat tail we need to be able to upgrade our classes. Um, but I'm going to need to do a little refresher to remember where it is. Nope, that's not how you do that. Um, I do believe it is up. I think this is it here. Yeah, let's, let's fly up there and find out. If nothing else, I'll be able to fly over. I won't be able to land right near it. I have to land a little bit of a distance away. All right, that's the big desert. Here. Yep, there. So that's where the Castle of Ordeals is. Um, can't land on this type of ground, unfortunately. We have to land a little bit of ways away and walk. Um, I think we can land here. Maybe not. I know the festive repeat music is very nice. Can we land? No. Okay. It's a little trial and error until I remember where we can land. Maybe here? Nope. Jeez. I don't remember it being this difficult to find a place to land. But I guess I know I can land down here and take the long trip. So I guess we're going to do that. And before we get too far into it, I'm going to go ahead and save. Because there are some painful enemies. Uh on this tra track. But if they don't get a turn, then they're not that painful. should finish him off. Alright, we continue our trip. I thought there was a place we could park the airship closer, um, one of these little patches that's available. But I guess I was wrong. Oh. Oh, I forgot I picked up Curata, so we'll throw that on him. That should definitely help. Assuming he survives, because he's getting smacked around again. Oh, well. Good, another preemptive strike. That'll make this a little bit easier to deal with. So hopefully he won't get pummeled again like he did in the last time I fought this pairing of enemies. Does that catch him up? That does catch him up with the rest. Okay, awesome.
Yes, continue going after my warrior. He can take those hits. The uh, Castle of Ordeals coming up is also where we start seeing some of the cool equipment that can cast spells if you use it as an item from your inventory. Oh, that was the wrong path. That was a big waste of time. Getting a lot of good preemptive strikes on these enemies, though, so we're not having too much problem. We're getting into a lot of fights. Um, basilisks can petrify my people, which I don't like. Do you remember from the last episode when I was worried every time I ran into a cockatrice? Their eyes remind me of the... Uh, those old school uh, glasses you got out of like the back of a comic book. The hypnotizing glasses. I remember when I used to play this uh, this part of the game on the uh, original cartridge without all of the fun save features and all that kind of good stuff I have now. I rarely got this far. It was. I was not very good at this game much earlier in my life. It took a lot of practice, a lot of playing with uh, playing around with some walkthroughs and stuff like that. Um, occasionally, I'll consult a walkthrough still for some minor stuff, but I'm not as reliant on using one every step of the way like I used to be. Uh, I think that also kind of goes with the fact that I play this these uh, games all the time. Lesser Tiger, that's kind of a mean way to put it. He looks like a very fine specimen, he or she. And they gave me an next potion. Why would I not why would I be unhappy with that? If I remember correctly, the Hydras are weak to lightning, so that shouldn't help take them out. Weak enough, I guess. Hey, here we are. I'm kind of drop a tent outside just to give ourselves the best chance in here. And save. I know I can save anywhere inside, but it's just easier. Oh, that's another trick. If you have not, if you somehow managed to get here before hitting the airship, which I don't really know how that's possible off the top of my head, um, but you haven't gotten the like, so you haven't gotten the crown yet. You cannot come in here. On occasion, I will play a randomizer version of this game, um, and that uh, is real tricky because uh, you don't if you can't come in here to check this this drop if you don't have the crown. I believe once you start running into some of these rooms where there are two teleporters, uh, if I remember correctly, you always want to take the bottom one. Oh, that's unfortunate. They had ever paralysis. Oh, okay. I don't like that. Oh, no. Well, it's a good thing I saved outside. Because that hitting everyone with paralysis on that first turn basically ruined this whole fight for me. So I have to sit here and just take the pummeling. Aha! 
I'm going to run away, because... I don't know that I'm going to be able to... Oh, I guess I could have done this on my own. With a well-timed thund Thundara spell. Oh, well, I'm not going to get a chance to run away anyway, so we're just going to do what we can. Nope! I did not mean to flee there. <laughs> run away! Alright, that was a mess of a situation. Uh, but we have the life spell on Makoto, so we'll at least be able to just kind of get everyone back up and going. That was very rough. I don't think I've ever seen that in any of my playthroughs. For them to hit all four with a paralyze on the first ta first turn. But, you know, it happens. It's a pain, but it happens. We're just going to throw out a couple to top people off. They don't need to be at, <clears throat> at max. Alright. Uh, as I was saying, I believe you want to hit the bottom one of these each time when you have a choice. As you can see, it's kind of like a teleporter maze. Uh, so I want to go down here. Oh, man. Uh, that memory option is going to gonna get me here if he runs away before the fight's over. Because I should be able to take them out. They don't have the paralyze abilities that I have to deal with like some other enemies. Okay, good. I'm glad it didn't run away. Or successfully run away. Alright. This time I will not. I will go... Um... See if Scourge works. Oh, took out three of them. That's nice. Should be able to physically attack the rest all the way down. Just not on that turn. Fantastic. Alright. Aha, uh -huh, I know that is a trap chest. Usually when you see little structure uh, structures around uh, a chest like that, it pro it's probably good to bet that it's going to have a monster trap there. And I believe they're weak to ice. Huh. Or a flaming sword to the face. That's also a good sign. Oh, they're not nearly as strong as I thought. I remember them being. Also, they're not that weak to ice. Gauntlets. Is that the... Oh, wait, the gauntlets are... Not something I can... Oh. Oh, they may not be something I can wear until the class change. However, if I remember correctly, yes, they cast Thundara when you use them as an item. So, in the old game, you actually had to put them in the inventory of the person that you wanted to be able to use them. Uh, in this one, you just have to have them as an item. Uh, anyone in your party, can, now they can only use it once in any set of turns. Only one of your party members can use it, but it's quite nice. And I don't think I want to be ambushed, that's for sure. Uh, I don't think I want to take that teleporter moving toward it. I think I want to go up and around, and that'll take me to the lower one. So, we do something like this. We do those. We will scroll down here, use the gauntlet as an item on everyone, and do the same thing with the actual spell. I really like their fire spells. But I really like my thunder spell. Oh, okay. So next time, don't worry about the actual cast. Just use the item, because clearly that's going to work better. Like now. Now would be a good time to do that. 
Um, actually, I think I'm going to defend with him, just in case they decide they want to start trying to punch him out. See? Nice little Fandara spell. Not as much damage as a straight cast from a mage, but it's a nice chunk of damage spread across all of them that I wouldn't be able to get otherwise with uh, with my white mage. I'll just cast that again, and just to be on the safe side, I'll let him cast his Thundara. And he'll finish him off for us. He doesn't use much of his magic, he has plenty of MP to, to go around. Um, oops, too far. can also petrify. And they can also get pummeled, clearly. Probably a waste of magic, but you know what? That's okay. Haha! -ha. So now we are out of the spot with the teleporter maze. Uh, now we just have a little bit of moving around the various uh, rooms up here with a bunch of bunch of fights, bunch of trap square uh, fight trap fight squares, um, and then a boss fight against a couple one or two poison dragons, if I remember correctly, that are obnoxious if they get their group poison attack off. starting to get pummeled slightly so there would be a trapped square here yep here so I'm gonna have to deal with this one twice against I think up to three nightmares um, because I'm gonna go get that chest and then I will probably hit it again on the way back through to get to the next part drops on me because that's all that oh that okay that one does not last between fights healing staff awesome now this is what I need uh, to uh, let's me use one of the group heals off the staff as an item um, actually I'm gonna have hit the big heal and then he will use the staff just so I can show you all what that does. Basically like the gauntlets, but a group heal instead of a group damage to the, uh, to the enemy group. Yay. There we go. They do not like my healer. But that's why she's throwing heals on herself. Finish, please? Yes, okay. Uh, finish it off the little double nightmare fight that you have to deal with. Oops. Oh, 
not very weak to fire. Well, weak enough to fire on the on the staff or the sword. And here, a few more chests of items. Ruby armlet is good. That is a piece of protective equipment for my mages. Um, it looks like the black mage is going to need it more right now. Take him the Ice Brand, which will boost him a little bit. Uh, okay, so... Cool, 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 cool. Some more chests down here, and one has been opened! Oh no! them off with these. Ooh. So in case it wasn't clear, slow doesn't actually make my party slower per se. What it does is cuts down on the number of attacks I get, so when I would be hitting you know, six to eight times with my uh, monk, I said hit one time for one damage. All right. So here we go. One more random fight here. And then the chest contains the item we need out of here. Then to get back to the bottom floor, we have to hop on that throne that you saw. But to get to the throne is the, the boss fight against the, uh, the dragons. So make sure we are top. Well, throw another high potion on her just to make sure. I think we are good. Rat's tail. So now we take this item to Bahamut and he will allow us to get our class change. But first... Dra oh, sorry, dragon zombies, not poison dragons. But that is good for me because them being zombies mean they are weak to the Diara spells and fire. So I should not have any trouble with them. Aha, uh -huh. yep, there it is. One round of blasts and they're done. Now I could, if I wanted to gain some more experience, just do that. Because every time, it's another series of fights. And I might actually do... Well, I've picked up the rat's tail. This seems like to be a good place to stop. I'm going to spend a little while just kind of little back and forth grinding on this spot to gain some more experience for my party. Um, and that's boring, y'all don't need to see that. Uh, but when we pick back up, we are going to um, be out of the castle and on our way to our class change. Thanks for watching everyone, and have a great evening.